Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to actual to be released this time. Let's hope. Uh, Zen, are you there? This time it might be released. Yes, exactly. Uh, I've been having that internet problem. I think the internet is a little bit better. We're still getting a little bit of crackles here and then, but it's much more manageable than it was when we recorded. The Fucking AC on release. finally. Yes, the AC is on, and it's so Man, good. Internet. <laughs> the worst part is that when I'm going to go edit this, there's no air conditioning back there. So I have to walk into the fucking sauna to get fucking to be released out there. I suffer for people to get this. Uh, <laughs> it's been fun. especially Dedication to your craft. Exactly. And if you want to keep me dedicated to my craft, this is the only time I'm going to shill it. Everyone should go watch my Persona 3 series <laughs> that I've started by myself. Persona 3 Portable, to be exact, the female version. Because I had a feeling that no one... One that everybody likes. The part that no one's played, I think, besides me. I thought the female... Uh, pretty popular. Uh, maybe it's just because people could can be their dicks to her, maybe, but probably. I don't know. I think the character of the female is very power, uh, powerful. Uh, is very popular, but I think I've seen some negativity towards some of the things that you can do in that specific version of it. Which I say to them, fuck you. <laughs> I let me let they tell you when the game begins. This is for people who've already played Persona Three, so let me have this. Is what I'm saying. I don't want to spoil too much, just because <laughs> there's one dude I think who's playing Persona Three alongside me at the same time, so I didn't want to spoil everything I'm doing. But yeah, check that out. That's the only the, it and Captain Subasa is the only time I will ever shill for one of my own things. <laughs> Isn't is it really shilling when it's your own stuff? Yes. Advertising at that point. Because I'm also not shilling the uh, Magic the Gathering videos I did mainly because they're a bunch of garbage where I played terribly and I I lost with my perfect deck, so I don't want anyone to see them. You just don't want anyone to watch. Yeah. So I'm kind of happy that they have 16 views each. I don't want to break my combo of releasing videos, so I'm just gonna release videos no one's gonna see. And that way, I could say that uh, no one saw my terrible play, and I kept my video streak going. It works out for everyone. All right, see? It's great. It's great. Uh, now that I've said that, seriously, don't watch that magic video. Don't don't actually watch any of the magic Go videos. Go watch it. Don't Go watch, watch it. it. Don't watch it. You know what's funny is that the only time I'll ever get passionate in one of my videos when it's me by myself is me berating myself. I want to say that second magic video has me for a good two minutes going, why am I so fucking garbage? Look at me. I should have never done fucking done this. This was a terrible fucking idea. And it's literally that for like three <laughs> minutes until I eventually just lose. <laughs> and then I headed to oh, rank. No. And then I headed to rank super angry at myself and win. So look forward to that. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's get into this. Uh, I'll say right now that we are. I'm dedicated to starting with fi the final form Frieza that we started off last time, mainly because the info for uh, Full Power Frieza is not 100% out there yet, and I want to see his SSR art into UR art. But uh, I do think it's funny that they've released the unit. I think I if you go back like two or three episodes when we say... Uh, Damn it, Goku! Oh, there's gonna be a part two, and then you said part two of what? I'm like, there's never been a full power Frieza, and you're like, why would they ever make an LR of full power Frieza? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. I guess we both know that this is only for Garesh. Let Garesh have this one. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let him have it. Yeah, I think we both understand what Garesh. what full power Frieza is for, the demographic for it, and I'm all for it. As a sort of really fan. Yeah. Whoever's a fan of that <laughs> full power Frieza deserves their full power Frieza. Yeah, I feel like the demographic for full power Frieza is literally Gorish and Truth single unit in the game. There you go. It's those two. Mm -hmm. uh, I was about to start with questions, but let's get into full, uh, Final Form Frieza. It's the new AoE unit uh, that came along with Namek Goku. So if you didn't pull Namek Goku, uh, that's unfortunate. But maybe you got this guy. Yeah, what are you doing with your life if you didn't pull Namek Goku? I specifically have coins ready Dokkan for, right now. for for him when he comes back. I'm just waiting for him. Uh, his he leader... is so fucking cool. He is so fucking cool. It's especially like, have you realized Let's talk about, that... about that? Yeah, I, I want to get into this now because I just remembered because I was recently grinding up uh, second form Frieza and I was using um, 
I think it's Super Vegito. I forget it. which one. Which one of the the LR animations has Vegeta and Goku, where Goku does a spirit bomb? Uh, that is Super Vegito. Okay, the Super Vegito spirit bomb fucking sucks so hard. Oh, it, oh it's so bad. It's his so... fucking face, dude. It's awful. And I did a rotation where I did the super with I did Namek Goku first, so I got to see the beautiful spirit bomb, and then his ugly ass decided to do a follow up. Oh, oh god. god, yeah, it's it's terrible. It is one hundred percent horrible. So I'm glad that there is a good spirit bomb animation that that they finally achieved the perfect spirit bomb animation. The only thing that would be better is if they were able to do the Krillin one. But only if they go all the way and have Curlin throw it, and then they dodge it, and then Gohan is there, and he pushes it Gohan back. Gohan bounces it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, didn't they do that? Doesn't Piccolo show up and Gotenks is super? They could totally do that. Yeah, they they, they could do that. They could 100% do that. Um, anyway, let's go into this Frieza. Frieza, uh, he is the Planet Namek Saga category lead of 120%, and then he can also give it to agility types for 90%. His super attack is called literally I'll destroy this planet, so that's pretty good. Uh the passive skill is called End of the Nightmare, and his attack and defense is eighty percent, plus an additional attack seventy percent, and high chance to stun the enemy attack when facing only one enemy. Key plus five and attack and defense attack and defense fifty percent when facing two or more enemies. And that's good only because he is an AoE unit. So he hits everyone. That means that this unit is only really good in the world tournament as far as I'm concerned. And then his categories are Planet Namek Saga, Transformation Boost, and Wicked Bloodline. Uh, and then, of course, his art is him looking like he's ready to dunk the spirit bomb looking thing that he does right after Goku throws his spirit bomb, which I cannot remember the name of the, <laughs> the ball he shoots. Uh, isn't it just the death ball? Okay, that makes sense. Frieza has a lot of moves that I feel like he just literally learned it on the spot because he saw Krillin do it or he saw Goku do it. <laughs> He's just like, I'm doing that now. That's my thing. It's mine now. <laughs> and he just does for it. For the universe, baby. I can do that now. I can shoot two from my hand and control them. He take that, tiny man. But yeah, the that's his... Uh, that's. That's basically what he is. And then his links are strongest clan in space, universe most malevolent, prodigies, thirst for conquest, big bad bosses, a shocking speed and fierce battle. And from what I can remember of his special attack, it's actually pretty good. It's uh, They put a, some good amount of effort into it, into looking pretty decent. I, I like him. I, I think he's really cool. Yeah. I think the LR. Yeah. And then also, I remember if we want to just get back to Goresh one more time, they, they use the iconic... Uh, Final Form Frieza art for the SSR. Yeah, after he uh, executes Krillin, or he executes Piccolo, Goku, right before he executes Krillin, is the SSR Rush was not happy. Yes, yes, he was not happy about that. And I think I can under understand that 100%, because Dokkan has an unfortunate thing of using the more iconic art for the SSR art, because you pull it in that art and then you use them in the TUR form. It's weird. Yeah, so in the prettier picture, but then it's not as good when you're actually using the unit because of the visual that you want anymore. Exactly. I think it's literally only because it's like you when you pull them up, you get a really good feeling, but then when you're using them, it's like, eh, I guess you don't need that art anymore. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Well, Goku, I think, is better um, in his... TR. Yeah, I think so too, actually. Again, it depends on the unit. But for the most part, the SSR most gets of the, the time, part. They, they do that, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's safe to say that I hate the World Tournament, and I think only the crazy few actually do like it. So the idea of. I release... can't think of anybody that likes it. I, I have never seen anyone be like, oh, thank God. It's the World Tournament. Uh, you say that, and I feel like every single time the World Tournament comes around, there are people who are just like, yeah, the World Tournament's coming. I need this. And I'm like, no, you don't. The World Tournament is garbage. Nobody needs this. The only thing that – the World Tournament is also a bummer because they've released DB units and then put it on a fucking banner that you can never <laughs> get. Yeah, the World Tournament is kind of a bummer. It's just not uh, very fun no. or interesting. 
No, not at all. And the units are very rarely ever worth it at all. Uh, but at least I think I think this Frieza can actually team up with second form Frieza. So at least that um, you get a good option to make it go fast. That's the only thing you really care about World Tournament is getting it done faster. And I think both... Well, Right, because they're they're both AOEs, right? Yeah, they're both AOEs, and they both share the same um, categories, and they share. Actually, I think things. you can use the second form, the leader, this Frieza, and you can also put um, their brother. He's also in that group, so you get three AOEs going. Oh yeah, see, so I th again, th I think there is merit to this Frieza. It's just unfortunate that he's mainly for a mode that I don't like. But what can you really do about it? <laughs> yeah. Nothing you can really do about it. But wh how do you feel for uh, Final Form Freeze on the big boy scale? As, you know, the the other thing that sucks is that it's taken a very long time to get another new Final Form Frieza. Because I want to say usually when they bring him in, As... he's Angel. Yes. Other than the original one, I'm pretty sure he's always been Angel. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if the STR one is... Um... That's a newer one, but I, I other than oh Vegas, that I that I don't know. Yeah, that one's a little bit harder for me to recognize, just because I never pulled. I think he was specifically around the time that I stopped paying attention to Dokkan, so he ends up getting forgot. I so I can't actually remember if he's a uh, legit uh, final form Frieza or not. But either way, it's always nice to see a new Final Form Frieza show up. I, for some reason, he feels weirdly under, for how important he is to the series, weirdly underutilized. Yeah, you don't see him uh, in Dokkan especially as much as you should, for sure. Yeah, you definitely see a lot more gold in Frieza. Yeah, which I I prefer Final Form to gold in Frieza, personally. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same way on that feeling. Uh, but how do you feel for him being on the big boy scale? Um, I'm going to give him a four out of five only because, uh, the art situation is not good. And then yeah. I would give him a five out of five, but he, he's not there. Yeah. I think I feel basically the same way as well. Uh, four out of five for me as well. Uh, at least we got the SSR art. That's something out of it. That's definitely something good. Yeah. Yeah. And if I pull him, I'll be perfectly happy to have him. He's not one of those units where I'm like, uh, can't believe i had him it's more like oh yeah cool. yeah my, my, mine is rainbow and i love the shit out of him yeah yeah it's a perfectly lovable unit uh let's here's another unit that's going to be good on the big boy scale just because it's going to be very easy it's going to be buhan which is the new easy a for what was i think oh right yeah. that's I, a thing has a unit ever fallen harder from grace than buhan uh, so you mean back when people said that he was arguably better than Super Vegito, and then he was just absolute sh shit? The potential system was released, and he took such a hard nosedive. He was one of the few characters that got worse with the potential system. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, he was still fine. But, um, made defensive tactics completely worthless. Because all you could kill the shit shit out of the other guy mm -hmm. so thing of like oh he's unkillable it's the zombie team he's even got better defense than super vegeta he does have better defense than super vegeta does like as a as a team player <laughs> because all of a sudden because everyone could get like rainbow stats and shit mm -hmm. And and it was that specific. I th it was so weird because uh, especially if you go back to the old modcast, I think there there were there were literal debates about whether or not Buhan was on the same tier as Super Vegito at the time. Eventually, people were debating if he was better. A lot of people were saying he they, he was better than Super Vegito. Yes, and now it's just a fucking no. Uh, well, maybe not now because now he's actually. They got buffs. I, yes. I'm, I'm not 100 sure what the buffs are, but I hear he's a lot better now than yeah. he was before. So I think he's finally at a place of like he's actually usable uh, once again. So let me run down. This is when he gets extremely awakened. He becomes the leader for Int for 100 percent for key. Uh, he still keeps the same super attacks and the same 30 percent chance to go into Super Ghost Kamikaze. 
Uh, except for now, he causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers attack for the first one for Vice Shout. And then he causes immense damage to the enemy with great power and greatly lowers attack and defense. I guess... Uh, no, it's greater power. I don't know. Either way, when it does Super Coast Kamikaze, it's even better. <laughs> That's the best way of saying it. Okay. <laughs> and then... I even forgot... stronger than it was. Yeah. And then his new passive skill becomes attack 17% and defense 10% and recover... One, one hundred thousand HP? No, it's ten thousand HP per key spear obtained. Recovers fifteen percent HP when delivering the final blow, which I believe is just his um super attack. Because if it was like the last fight, if it was the last super attack of the game, the last hit of the fight, and he recovers all of his health. Yeah, that'd be that'd be stupid. <laughs> that'd be unnecessary. I would say. Um, so he basically got the, uh, perfect cell treatment, except for he, I think he's now the highest one of them all, uh, with 17% attack. Uh, okay. I think with the new mode with, um, specifically the new Goku event, I, cause I, I've used his team with, um, Super Boo, which is, I believe the, not called Transformer Warriors, that's fucking legends, transformation boost, um, the big problem was is that there wasn't there was plenty of healing. The problem is that no one did damage for shit once you got to the final form. <laughs> Not even, <laughs> right. I, yeah, so you just lose eventually because you never did enough damage. But I feel like now with this, he's actually at a place of being a hard hitter. Because uh let me see, the previous passive skill, I want to say it's almost laughable what it is nowadays. And it's actually yeah, it is laughable. For every key spear obtained, he got attack twelve percent and then recovered three thousand HP. Ugh, not good. That's terrible. Yeah, it is terrible. Seventeen percent attack and defense ten percent is much better nowadays. Uh, and having the added bonus of just a, a shit ton of healing. So I, I think some people are saying that this is one of the better easy A's. I just think that this is an easy A that actually makes him usable. I'm not a hundred percent sold on the idea of him being one of the better ones now. Uh, that's just me personally at this moment, though. Maybe I should use him a bit more. But I think it, regardless, Janemba. yeah, Janembra is still in my mind is the number one as far as like going from not only being usable, he's better than the STR four, <laughs> right? Than this new version, yeah. And Buhan will always have the problem of uh, well, thankfully enough, he's better than Super Boo in his original form, but you can run on the same team. And I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to come out with an LR Buhan at some point. It's not a oh, surprise. Yeah. For sure. So he's going to have to have competition from an actual LR at some point. So it's kind of a thing of like, because that LR is not going to be called Super Boo. It's not going to be called anything else. It's going to have to just be base form Buhan. And we're going to have to deal with the repercussions of that. But either way, I think he's perfectly fine, especially if you're using him now and you're going for a specific team. He's 100% usable. Yeah, I, I think he's good. Yeah. Um, I also love Extreme Z. I, I like it a lot. It's my favorite mechanic at Dokkan. So yes, I got I, one. I agree. Uh, Extreme Z's Awakenings were a very good idea. It's everything what a rebirth was supposed to be. Yeah, exactly. It's what rebirth is not at all. No. I'm really excited for Super Vegito, the Intel, uh, the agility one, getting his Extreme Z Awakening because he's busted as hell. And I play Super Saiyans. So, so that would be a fun one to come out. I think a lot of people are waiting. That'll be a good, good day for me. Yeah, yeah. I think funny enough, a lot of people are waiting for the physical um, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito to get his uh, Extreme Z Awakening. Mainly because I think I think also D Free has been doing testing. He, because uh, him and uh, Hydros like to do uh, specific testing of like, well, let's put this into them and see what they do. And he says it's actually extremely hard to not make Super Saiyan Blue Vegito busted. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, because he attacks like fucking 12 times. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so even he was like, well, I think this is a tiny boost. It should be fine. By the end of the video, they're, they're like, this was a mistake. <laughs> that was too much. Uh <laughs> Well, unfortunately for him, I don't play Super Saiyan Blue. I play Super Saiyan. Yeah. So, but either way, I'm 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 all for Vegito for the Blue, or Vegito. Super Vegito is better because I play him. I'm all for the return of uh, the original greatest uh, Dok uh, Dokkan unit when he was released. Ninja Masaki back in the meta, babe. Exactly. 
Bring back Ninja Murasaki. That's the easy A I'm waiting for. It's the easy A on our Ninja Murasaki. <laughs> Uh, but on the big boy scale, how do you feel about um, Buhan being on here? I will say he still keeps the um, same John Cena, you can't see me pose that he did back then. So, and a half out of five. Yeah, I'm feeling around a three out of five as well. I think a big bummer about Easy Guys is that they don't change their special attacks, but I think it's fine at the end of the day. They just, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's not the biggest. Uh, <laughs> Biggest deal in the world, just because I know they're saving those animations for an actual new unit. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. So those are the two on the big boy scale. Uh, pretty... Here's the thing, is that, again, I didn't want to put in full power freeze yet, just because I don't have the full info, and people are still... Um... I believe most people at this point have said, he seems underwhelming, and then it's Goresh saying, yelling at him, you will... You will live to re- to regret your deeds and actions when <laughs> the truth is revealed. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I want to wait a little bit more. Uh, I respect the agenda more than anything in this world. No, one hundred percent. Fight for the agenda. I was in the same position too. I remember when I was waiting for the news of Goku and Rayleigh. I was waiting for the thumbs up. <laughs> And then when I got it, I unleashed everything. So all the best for him in these trying times, as long as he gets his unit yeah. at the end of the day. So let's go into questions. It's been a bit, so I actually need to look for one YouTube question that someone left, like, at this point now, a week and a half ago. So let me quickly go find it. Um, Thank you for Kenny S. currently, who commented, I support this series on the Persona 3. Keep the hustle going. Always comment on one of those. I will always answer to all of them. <laughs> all right, let me quickly find it. Um, uh, okay, no, that's not it. I forgot that a lot of these um, comments are from when I tried to summon in Legends and I failed horribly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't take comments or questions on YouTube because I'll never find them again. No, it's true. You also have... Eventually, it's going to get to the point where this is actually going to be impossible. Uh, That's not going to change the fact, though. If you ask a question on YouTube, I will always try and get them answered. And this question I found, it comes from Holborn, who says, How was your Legends anniversary summons? Asking a few hours in advance for the next episode. And he asked that a week ago. So that was before I recorded my video where... (laughs) uh, you can watch to see how badly my experience with the Legends uh, <laughs> banner went. The funny thing, and it makes me so funny. Yeah. Uh, it makes me so angry because this is just gotchas. And I this would never have happened if I did not specifically save a lot of free-to-play stones. Stones. Free-to-play Chrono Crystals is that I eventually ended up doing a full rotation on Vegeta because I had um, enough free-to-play stuff either because they gave it to us or I had story that I had not finished yet. Um, and then on Vegeta's first run, I got, um, I got Vegeta, I got Vegeta on the first Vegeta run. And then, no, I didn't get anything in the first run. And then in the second one, which was the all extreme multi, I got Weiss and Vegeta. So it was like, I guess I don't need the summon anymore. (laughs) I got everything. (laughs) That's okay though. I mean, you could have gotten shit. It's true. And then eventually I had to, um, when they introduced the Goku tickets uh, for the uh, for the missions, I went back to the Goku banner to get a ticket and I was able to pull Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So my, and my ending haul was the Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, both of the extreme god units, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and no Super Vegito, no Golden Frieza, no Buhan, and no uh, Janemba and Chilled were the other units. But it spent. I sp- It was close to. I want to say ten thousand at by the end of it. Chrono Crystal spent overall. Um, Bad though. It's it's a it was a lot, especially because that's more than I would want to spend on that banner specifically because it was so bad. That's that, that's fair. Because it was so. But, but but I don't know. There was a part of me that just made me keep going, and I think it specifically was watching everyone pull good stuff. And it made me go like, God damn it, where's my good stuff? I want good stuff. Oh, I know that feeling. Better than anybody. Yeah. That shit sucks. It's a terrible feeling. So even though I got like, and to be fair, my new God team I love a lot and I've been having a lot of fun. I still feel like 
I don't feel good. I don't feel good about the things I had to do. And to be fair, I'm not as bad off as like Rhyme Style, who I think at that point has been eighty five thousand. No Super Vegeta. Had, yeah, it's it's been a lot of people have had it worse than me, so I don't want to be a full on like, oh god, woe is me. Uh, even though I do feel shit about it, um, so it could be worse, is what I'm trying to say. At the end of the day, I think I I ended up being, always be worse. It could always be worse. I'm gonna say I broke out even, and I'm cashing out of my chips. I'm not chasing Super Vegito. Uh, shout outs to Nort, who has maybe gotten the most fucked from this banner next to Rhyme Style, as he's constantly trying. Rhyme Style definitely has it the worst, but Nort yeah. Nort is a good a big second. Yeah. yeah. And also, I think Talon is also not. No, did Talon get Super Vegito? Uh, I don't remember. Hmm. I could have swore he didn't. But either way, anyone who didn't wasn't able to get it, me included. That's a big, uh, big F to everyone in the chat for that one. Uh, that Zen, big rip. <laughs> Zen, how did yours go? Uh, I have every anniversary unit that's not an EX. Hmm. How did it work? Did you pull those <laughs> specifically? Actually, so here's the funny story. I had a new account. Because I wanted Super Vegito, and I, I'm, I'm not gonna not fucking play with the busted ass, is like destroying the meta. Yeah. Over. And then I pulled another copy of him. Normally, I have a three star fucking Super Vegito now. Why do you have to? Why do you have to hurt me like this? Actually, no, you're not hurting me. D Free hurts me with every single fucking Super Vegito he gets. Uh, the one that should really be hurting you is fucking Gaming Claw. Did you see how many fucking Vegitos he got? Oh, no. game. The difference is that I can't hate Gaming Claw because he apologized to me immediately. He actually went to my oh, video. That, okay, that's fair. He went to my video and said, I'm all for support for you. And I said, you're very lucky. You're a very nice man. <laughs> that... <laughs> so I, I gave him the break. I gave him the trunks looking at Gohan break from the... <laughs> it's like, okay. I, I'll... It's a, basically I have I got more than one parking. I got way too many golden freezes him because I don't have a team for him. Oh. I uh, I think my Buhan is four star, my five star, my Super Saiyan Blues are three star, and my Super Vegito is three star. Weiss, who I really wanted, so I'm not comfortable running God Key without him, so I'm running Super Saiyan. God Key is a really, a, a really fun team because it lets me use the new Beerus. Oh, I was also able to get Beerus off the ticket. I forgot about that. <laughs> and they finally did it. They buffed Beerus. They just took takes pulling in extreme ways. Beerus by releasing a better Beerus. <laughs> No, the 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 with it's uh, with Weiss. Oh, well, um, that's true. The green one actually is kind of good now. His ultimate attack can actually is bullshit him. because I was repping that. Man, from the start. Yeah, it's great because now I can uh, uh, go away all the buffs that they've been able to accumulate, and then I can shoot off my ultimate, and it can kill them usually in one hit if I time it right. So it's very nice. It's very nice to be playing was with good out, I was out here killing Gogetas and Rebrions with Beerus. <laughs> they made him good. Yeah, they the 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 he's been... Uh, they've accidentally buffed that man into actually being usable. Yeah, I, I'm forced to assume it was not what their intention. No way. I think they fucked up when they released that special equipped. And I think I'm going to just say right now, they fucked up by releasing that equipped and saying that every Legends Limited unit is getting one. Because now Goten is going to get one. And then after Goten, who's going to protect this super, from super <laughs> Vegito? It was already the best character in the game. And, it's... and then they're going to give him a fucking equip that's going to buff all of his sense. Yeah. That's the worst part is that I looked at the equipped because I realized Gohan got one and I was like, you're two equips away from being better. <laughs> what is... Yep. Uh, sell games and events away from being he is, And he's already really fucking dumb. <laughs> I fucking hate Legends. But it's a great time playing it right now. <laughs> Yeah, anniversary is pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I, I still think the new battle system sucks. I don't like it very much. I don't like the new battle system at all either. I think it's uh, it slowed things down in a very annoying way, and then it doesn't help that Super Vegito has suffered zero consequences for him, any of it. Yeah, it, it slowed things down, and then they made sure that Super Vegito 
slow down. Yeah, he has no problem doing anything. He plays the exact same way he used to play. <laughs> that's uh, super So basically, they made the game worse for everybody except for Super Vegeta, the old version. <laughs> exactly. And it's clear that they were. that's what they've been doing. Uh, and I hope the number one was worth it, Legends. I hope it was worth it. Yeah, yeah man, I, I don't know how to feel about that because these banners are objectively dog shit, like, in a big way. Uh, um, fucking just keep doing it over and over again. Yeah. This is the only time they got number one. Uh, yeah, it's it sucks. Especially because I feel like the thing we truly lost along the way was good tickets. Oh yeah, yeah the tickets are unbelievably bad. Unbelievably was it bad. For a sparking, it, it was like five thousand some the first time, and then seven thousand to get another guaranteed sparking. Yeah, and then the worst part is, is that when you ended the you ended your summons, uh, you were left with one ticket over. So they didn't give you enough tickets for a full rotation. So they give you... It's, it's just awful. Yeah, it was very scummy and terrible, and we hit number one. And I knew we were going to hit number one the second Sahal said, there's no way we hit number one. He jinxed it for us all. Yeah, he... Yeah. Every time Zahal says anything, I'm like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's about to come true. Oh, boys. He predicted that ticket shit, right? Except for he made it worse. Yeah. It, oh, man. Yeah. fucked up it's everything's fucked up they didn't even bump up super vegeta did all the step ups like at least go 10 they were like okay when you're done normal people rates which is already at least it's open. like yeah. it's not <laughs> it's not right uh thank you for the question and sending it through our youtube from my YouTube, I should say. You know, there are some people that actually, I think it was Rack who I think assumes that you are also on my, <laughs> that you are also, it's like a joint account. It's not, it's just me. Oh yeah, it's just his. It's just me. It's just, you guys don't go to. <laughs> yeah. I just have the most Zenrot content out there. Uh, the one-stop shop place to get your Zenrot is to is come to me. Uh, next question. We'll go into the Twitter question again. You just need to wait for me to ask for to, to ask for questions. And here we go. First question comes in from Pouty Muffin at Tales of Festival. In it's very long, Pout. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna read it all. A but... lot to that. Yeah. 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 And he says, "Will there be a Dynamax Woki in Pokemon Sword and Shield?" Um. One was already confirmed. They showed a giant ass Quagsire, and I was like, "You were one off. <laughs> you were so close." I don't remember that Dynamax Quagsire. They showed a Dynamax Quagsire. Yeah, there was a Dynamax Quagsire. I remember because I was going, "Oh, if there's Dynamax Quagsire. Maybe there's a Dynamax Whooper somewhere. <laughs> They're lurking." I think anybody can Dynamax because they show the first forms of the starters doing it. Oh, you know for one hundred percent fact, I'm gonna get that Dynamax Whooper as soon as I can. <laughs> It'll be the first new channel game. mascot baby <laughs> dynamax it's right next to wookie free and i think i've said yeah, this... free and dynamax Swooper. yeah i think i've said this before but i think it's really funny so i'll mention again is that there's one person who thinks that um uh whoopers are called wokies and wokies are whoopers <laughs> <laughs> so they keep every time there's a whooper it goes like look it's a wokey and i'm like yeah, no, I really like Whooper, but that's the Whooper. It's like, yeah, Wokies. I was like, mm, no. And then I'll occasionally put up a, a, a Whooper, and they go like, that's a good-looking Wokey. And I'm like, uh, okay. Well, we, we've we had this conversation before. You know that it's not a Wokey, right? You know it's a Whooper. <laughs> Dedication really... is what that is. Exactly. Very dedicated. And another question that fits into the Dynamax is comes from Comrade Solrak, uh, aka Carlos, and he says, "Oh, thank you, thanks again for the question, Pouty, uh, Pouty Muffin. <laughs> if I could call you, call you Pouty, I think we're in a first name basis. You a, are you on a first name basis with Pouty Muffin? Yes, exactly. Tell me, uh, answer. That's my question to you. If you <laughs> is answer that for me." <laughs> Uh, this comes in from, again, Comrade Solrek, and he says, How many Whale Lords do you think you could fit in a Dynamax Whale Lord? Um, 
I think just one. <laughs> or does he mean how? Oh no, I get it. How many whale lords can fit in a Dynamax whale lord? So if a whale, yeah, how many regular whale lords could be fit into a giant ass whale lord? Um, probably too many. I like all the fan art of Dynamax whale lord because it's hilarious because <laughs> they're stupid big. I, I just assume that whale lord is not going to be in the game. Maybe we'll see. At that point, uh, I'm waiting for the Dynamax Skitty getting it on with the Whale Lord. That's the real question. That, that to probably be already is a very creepy website. I'm sure. People uh, people were asking that day of when Dynamax was released because people are degenerates. <laughs> I was trying to find that out right now. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the question. The answer is too many to count, honestly. Uh, next question comes in from BT, who says, "Your thoughts on the Legends anniversary? Uh, don't know if it's a, uh, don't know if it's related or not. Sorry if it's not, because I asked for questions, and then I said in parentheses, "You good dude? Ask whatever you want." Uh, and he agreed with that. Kind of just answered that though. Uh, in terms of our thoughts on the Legends anniversary, I think we're both kind of like, it's okay. I just wish the banners were better. I feel like there's weirdly not a, not a, not enough. I kind of wish that there would have been a, um, um, what the fuck are they called? Legends road, a Legends road character to go with, um, Vegito, but there hasn't been. Oh, there's the the red Vegito. Yeah, but I don't think he counts the same because he's like Broly. So in my mind, it's two separate types of events. You want you want a rising battle and a Legends Road. Yes, I feel like. And then that would have issued in a buttload of stamina tickets as well. Uh, they decided, I guess, not to do that. Uh, I think it's still going on, technically speaking. That was only part one. So let's see if there's more to it. But I just feel like I wish there was more to play besides PvP, which I think is kind of the yeah. That's the drum they beat every single time Legends content comes out, so. Yeah, I think uh, the anniversary is, like, objectively not very good, but, you know, yeah. do you, Kings? Yeah, I it could be better. That's basically, uh, I think, it. Thank you for the question, VT. Next question comes in from Airfighter. He says, I just want to share this image. And it's of everyone's favorite uh, go-to-sleep cat, Morgana. And uh, I'm sending it to you right now. Let me make sure I'm actually sending it to the right chat. Because <laughs> I was about to send you it. Good? There we go. Uh, right there. It's a good, good image. It is. Very good. Uh, I think there's been a recent groundswell of a lot of people who don't like Morgana. I always thought Morgana was fine. Oh, yeah. Teddy. It was Teddy. I think uh, a, a more abrasive Teddy because I think Teddy was easier to kind of go like, well, look at this dumbass. And then also had like a a better end arc by the end in my mind. But yeah, he's basically the same function of Teddy. He's just the master. Yeah, I just really don't like Teddy. I like Teddy. I like his... Uh... Uh, I like the way he starts of I th I think there I like the way he starts from going I feel kind of annoyed cuz someone's in my house and then he eventually goes into I don't know why I'm alive <laughs> 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 And then when he asks you like do you think I can find that and you go dude I don't know <laughs> that's a good question but I'll help you find it he's like thanks man <laughs> I like how he... his boss fight is just an existential crisis. Yes, it is an existential. And it is because at that point he's been asking you a lot of stuff of like, okay, I think I'm kind of starting to understand this. And then Risei shows up and blows everything he knew out the fucking water. So then he's like, oh, the, uh, it's like literally like he's like a tiny kid coming to terms with like, um, have you ever seen that movie uh, for where the wild things are? Not the movie. Not the, the movie. book. There's a really good part in the movie because uh, there's a movie version of Where the Wild Things Are where in the beginning of the movie, Max is talking to the bigger monster 
And he says to the monster, did you know that one day that the sun is going to blow up and then everything will be destroyed? And then the monster goes, I didn't know that. Uh, that's okay. And then later on, an hour into the movie, it passes. That monster's having a freak out. And he's like, what's wrong? You need to calm down. Like, you're too angry. And then he goes like, listen, all right, I didn't want uh, I didn't want this person here. And then I'm dealing with the fact that the sun's going to blow up at some point, which I just learned. <laughs> I just learned, like, my entire worldview was put in, outside of its head because I always understood that, like, the world would continue, and then now you're telling me that there's a finite point to something, and then it all goes away. And that's basically what Teddy is, and that's his boss fight, and so I, I like Teddy. That's the basic of it, is what I'm saying, because <laughs> he's very much like a child being put into form, but he's also a very creepy child, because he's in the body of, like, a teenager. <laughs> He's in a bear suit, and then he's in the body of, like, a weird androgynous teenager. Yes, and it only gets weirder from there. Only gets weirder from there. Thank you for the question. And thank you for... No, it wasn't a question. Thank you for the Morgana image. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Next question comes in from Nighthawk, and it says, How would you rate Seto Kaiba on the big boy scale? It can be from the anime or from the DSOD movie. The Dark Side of the Dimensions movie. Um, does Kaiba even fit the criteria for the big uh, ones? So you know when you measure someone's power level with a scouter, scouter fucking explodes. That's that's Kaiba when we try to get him on the big boys. Yeah, it's t we could do an entire uh the welcome to the Kaiba cast as we specifically go for <laughs> different forms of Kaiba to be put on the big boy scale. Yeah, you you can't uh, you can't do anything about Kaiba. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, currently unscalable. He's unscale. He's scale bound. He can't be scale bounded. Uh, but thank you for the question, Nighthawk. Next question comes in from Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Johan, who uh is just here to ask us which merged Masu form do you guys prefer? And he has the three forms: it's Smile Zamasu, it's Big Ass Arm Zamasu, and it is shirtless ripped Zamasu from the manga. Uh, can I? Pick a fourth option. Can I pick uh, Rose? Say it again. Reason. I, I'm picking a, a a third option. I'm picking a Robot Pirate Zamasu from um, the Heroes anime okay. by Jiren. I accept this one. I think that's a pretty good merge Zamasu. That's thinking outside the box. Uh, I did an entire Dokkan video where it just ended with a giant smile montage from Zamasu. So I'm going to go pick Smile Zamasu. <laughs> respectable yeah uh next thank you for the question johan uh next question comes in from kref who asks can you guys rank the jojos and i'll say you should watch pitter patter be poppin the new episode that just came up where we <laughs> don't answer that question but it has all the jojo stuff you'll have and eventually you'll find out which JoJo's we eventually like. By that eventually time. we will rank them all. Yeah. <laughs> eventually you'll find a list where it's like somehow uh, Phantom Blood ended up at number one for Wookie for some reason. <laughs> and then you'll figure it out from there. So I'll say go watch that one. Thank you for the question, Gref. And final, the last question comes in from Zadat who asks, can you beat a Pokemon game with only a Wooper? I want to say when I asked this, the Nintendo Direct literally just ended. <laughs> so that's why we have more Pokemon questions than usual. Uh, the answer is like yes. Any Pokemon game with just anything. Yeah, just get into level 100. Yeah. I I think there's literally a video series of a guy beating the the Sun and Moon Elite Four with just Wooper. <laughs> get behind that that's quality content exactly 100 percent. that's where my favorite image of the you are the pokemon champion while whooper looks off to the side comes from <laughs> uh it's great stuff uh and that was the final question before we end to be released i just want to say because people have been saying it including you zen that's not die <laughs> that's not die in the smash brothers game i don't I don't know what any of the Dragon Quest characters are, nor do I even know what they look like. I didn't watch the trailer. I just heard Dragon Quest main characters are all in uh, Smash Brothers, so... 
It's a uh, it's uh it's four of them. They picked the four that I would pick. No, they picked at least two of the ones I'd pick, which was the one from uh from Dragon Quest Seven and the one from Dragon Quest Four, which are the two ones that I think I like the most. And then there's the one from the most recent Dragon Quest game, which I haven't played yet, so I can't really comment. And then there's the original hero, who is the whole basis of Dragon Quest, which I believe his game was three. Uh, which is funny because he's the he he has like a special cave in Dragon Quest One, but you don't actually play as him until Dragon Quest Three, I think, is the way it goes. Um, either way, uh, I can just pretend it's die. <laughs> either way, Dragon Quest is good. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. This is also the closest we'll get. Yeah, Banjo. So I'm happy. Yeah, it's true. Banjo was also very good. Love that. Uh. I love that um, this idea of Microsoft going like, oh, yeah, we're basically a third party that also has a console for some reason. If you want to buy our console, whatever. As long as you buy our stuff, we're okay with it. Uh, that has basically freed Banjo. So now my I, my actual idea of getting a remaster for Kazooie and um, Tui is possible, I think. It's closer than I ever. I have a feeling that is... I think they would have bothered putting Banjo if there wasn't some shit coming out for him soon. I think they were waiting for the response for this specific, but literally like the 3d model is here <laughs> as far as I'm concerned at this point, they can, the uh, Microsoft can go like, okay, uh, Banjo's coming to our new console. Also the switch. So that's all that really matters <laughs> at that point. Cause then they could say, so like, anybody's going to fucking buy it on yeah. the switch anyway. They're like, uh, listen, if for those, for those hardcore people that are still with us, they can also enjoy it. But we actually know all of you people that actually like this are on Nintendo. So here you go. Here it is on Nintendo again. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. As yeah. long as we get uh, Banjo. Sir. Exactly. That's all I want. That's all I want. I don't want Banjo 3E because I don't fucking trust that company. I just want Banjo because uh, we remember. Yeah, I can't trust actual Rare to make Banjo 3, but a remaster, and then if they learn a little bit from it, uh, from there as well, and they actually pick up good lessons, which is basically all the lessons that were not learned in the, um, the Platonics game. Bolts. Uh, ukulele, there you go, that was the name of it. Oh, ukulele, ukulele sucks ass, yeah, it's yeah. terrible. Funny enough, I think Had in Time is the it's actual... the mighty number nine of platformers. Yeah. Funny enough, I think Had in Time is actually a Banjo game done right. I just haven't played it yet. I've heard nothing but good things from it, though. So it is possible to make one of those games. I remember Had in Time, and its budget was like one-third of what Ukulele was, and it's so much better. Yeah, yeah. So, exciting stuff. And uh, join us next time for another episode. We actually were able to release this episode. It's no longer to be delayed. Someone said that someone the previous thing should have been called episode is to be released. And I was like, fuck. I hate it when people... It really should have been, yeah. I hate it when people make better titles than I do. Because it feels like I'm not <laughs> doing my one job right. You'll always have Pitter Patter be popping. They'll never it. be able to take that away from you. take that from so anyway, let's end this. Uh, my, my laptop's dying, so I'm just going to say the end part of it, and then you can come in with a that's no good. Remember, if you play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. That's no good. Goodbye, everyone. Hey.